Well, in Genesis chapter 45, the energy, the drama, the emotion of this chapter, it's almost like stepping into a scene of a Hollywood film. Let me read to you this dramatic moment in Joseph and his brother's life. It's the very first few verses of chapter 45. It says, Joseph could stand it no longer. There were many people in the room and he said to his attendants, out, all of you. So he was alone with his brothers when he told them who he was. Then he broke down and wept and wept so loudly that the Egyptians could hear him and word of it quickly carried to Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still alive? But his brothers, they were speechless. They were stunned to realize that Joseph was standing there in front of them. Please come closer, he said to them. So they came closer. And he said again, I am Joseph, your brother whom you sold into slavery in Egypt, but don't be upset and don't be angry with yourselves for selling me to this place. It was God who sent me here ahead of you to preserve your lives. This famine that has ravaged the land for two years will last five more years, and there will neither be plowing nor harvesting. God has sent me ahead of you to keep you and your families alive to pres preserve many survivors. So it was God who sent me here, not you. And he is the one who made me an advisor to Pharaoh, the manager of this entire palace and the governor of all. This is such a beautiful and powerful chapter in the book of Genesis. Like I said, the energy, the drama, the emotion, it's like we're seeing a scene in a Hollywood film. But here's the thing I want you to catch, the takeaway truth for this morning. Don't you see how Joseph's perspective matured as he went through many trials over many years? You can only imagine the emotion he must have had when he was at the pit when his brothers threw him in, when he was at Potiphar's house, when he was falsely accused, when he was in the prison, when he finally got to the palace. And now at this moment when he's reunited with his family, but the ones who had betrayed him, he doesn't come to them in bitterness, anger. He comes to them with the perspective of grace and the perspective that everything that happened in his life, the steps he took in life, the stops that he didn't anticipate, they were truly filtered by his heavenly father. See, listen, tune in. Today, I, I don't know what's on your agenda. I don't know the events of yesterday or what's coming for you today or tomorrow, but I do know this. Everything in your life is filtered by a Heavenly Father who is good, who loves you, and is working all things together for His glory in your good. So trust Him. See life through that lens. God, you've got everything filtered through your love and grace, and I can trust you. Joseph, when he's reunited with his betrayers, he doesn't come with bitterness, but with the perspective of God's grace. So today, may our lens on life be that of grace and seeing that truly everything that happens this day is filtered by our loving Heavenly Father.